Okay, yo, let's dive in. Um, AI overviews, Google I.O. announced it, confirms like everything you've been saying for the past 12 plus months when it comes to SGE being rebranded, but mm -hmm. what were your initial reactions to what they revealed and what do you think it actually means for SEO? Because our industry is freaking out. Uh, I mean, I think just the, the fact that they are now making it available to all users is a big enough announcement. Um, my only issue with IO is a lot of it was like, this thing is coming soon. And I've watched enough IOs to know that sometimes those coming soon things never happen. And there's no like follow up announcement like, hey, we've abandoned this idea. So there's a lot of things that sounded really cool that I hope actually happened. Um, but as far as the AI overviews, I mean, I think everything we've been saying for the last like year and some change has come to pass, right? Like we are seeing, um, you know, the AI snapshot or AI overview has now been rolled out. All the components of it, as far as like, you know, it being a function of relevance against passages, all of that is still true. It's dramatically faster. I mean, I don't, I didn't watch, watch the full part where they described everything, but it sounds like they're offloading some of the processing on the client side, which is interesting. Um, you know, they have Gemini Nano that's in Chrome or will be in the next version of Chrome. So I suspect like a lot of this stuff is just going to get faster, easier for them to do and so on. And, you know, when you think about what OpenAI rolled out in the last week or so, it just further clarifies the advantage that Google has because they're baked in to products that we all use every day. Now, ChatGPT is getting integrated in a lot more things, but like Google understands like, okay, we've got to get moving on this. And now it's going to be in all the products in really cool ways. So I'm more excited for that than I am for the AI overviews because a lot of the responses are still really bad. Um, but I think we're really clear on what we need to do as SEOs, as far as like, how do we optimize for this? So a lot of people are looking at it as like this huge threat to SEO. I don't think it is. I think it's going to change how we do SEO. But again, I think we have everything we need in order to do a different sort of SEO. I am really curious in terms of how you're thinking about to your point, the the results right now are really problematic. Like it's not a high quality result that's better than search results. And we're getting a lot of anecdotal, like people complaining in the Google forums community, people complaining mm -hmm. on social, like what's the source of truth? Like, how are we going to actually know whether the results are something that like the average non SEO thinks is, is worthwhile, or is it just the novelty or is it is it just going to be as it is and we all just have to adapt i think it's more what you just said it's going to be as it is and we have to adapt uh we're not going to have much visibility into it they said that it was going to be a part of google search console but it's not broken out as its own thing right so you're not going to be able to necessarily disambiguate between a search that had an ai snapshot and a user clicking on that ai snapshot uh, versus like a standard organic result, unless at some point they decide to parse things out. But as I understand it, at one point they were they were meant to parse out like featured snippets, but then they never actually rolled it out. So it's not really to their benefit to give us more data as it relates to this. It's really to their benefit for us to be in the dark and just continue to do what we do to provide content. So really, it's going to be really similar to you know, what's going to happen once cookies go away, right? Like you're still going to do advertising. You're just not going to have the level of intelligence on how it's performing. You're also not going to have as many options as it, re as it relates to that. So it's the same sort of thing. Like things are going to become more opaque and you just got to deal with it if you want the traffic. And to that point in the marketing world, we are moving towards more like attribution and marketing and like, at least like the last five years that's been this desire of being able to prove. So for SEOs, I can imagine being able to prove your value is going to be that much harder. If everything's getting more opaque, how are you thinking about that? Like kind of convincing executives like, yet yeah, you can't, you shouldn't give up on search just because it's different. 
Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't know if that needs to be said. Because at the end of the day, we all still want traffic, right? Like, I think if that was going to be a problem, it would have been a problem when not provided rolled out, right? Like, you no longer have the attribution on the keyword level. It didn't stop people from doing organic search. It just made it more difficult to say, like, okay, this specific keyword drove this outcome. But, you know, it really just turned things back into how is the channel performing on this landing page or how is the channel performing in general? And it made it more like the other channels. And it also made, you know, the paid search channels more valuable. But I think it's, you know, it's just a new reality. And we don't know yet what the impact is going to be. But we will be able to see when like traffic goes down and we will all eventually have rank tracking solutions or all the existing rank tracking solutions will eventually have some sort of surfacing of whether or not those AEI overviews are showing up. But to date, we're still seeing that it has to be a logged in experience for SGE or for AI overview to be triggered. So I don't know what that's going to look like for all of the rank tracking solutions like i know what's required to to track these rankings because we're already doing it and it requires you to have like thousands of accounts to log in and then perform these searches and scrape them and so doing that because these ai overviews can be so personalized we may not have like a clear source of truth around that to compare against so again it just makes us a far more opaque and it works to Google's benefit because of that. Final question on this topic is, is who do you think, you know, knowing what we know, and there's so many more questions and answers, like who do you think is going to win coming out of this? Like what types of brands, what types of content strategies are going to actually benefit from this like new version of search? It's going to be those that are saying things that are very comprehensive so that they rank for many of these queries and also the, the follow up questions. So people that think about that search journey, that whole like, you know, the, the map or whatever it is, you know, the thing like also ask.com gives you the little mapping of how the branching of the queries happens. Like people that look at that and say, cool, let's cover all of this. Like we're going beyond topical clustering, like we're going micro, we're going to that like passage indexing level. Like the people that are getting that granular with their content are the ones that are going to continue to have those opportunities. And the ones that think about, you know, how do we optimize for this specifically? They're going to be the ones that win. But I think because, you know, really right now, we're the only people saying like, here's how you optimize for this in our space. Obviously there's the people with the GEO paper, like they're saying what's up, but I think it's going to take a minute for everyone to catch up to this new normal because, you know, for so long people were like, oh, Google isn't going to roll this out. Even now people are like, oh, Google's going to roll this back. Like, I don't think that's true. Like, I think it's, it's here now, right? And they're only going to further optimize it. They're only going to figure out like better ways to make it play nice with ads and so on. Um, you know, if anything, I think it's more realistic that we might see the featured snippets go away rather than seeing the AI overview go away. It's, it's so interesting to think about like how many like content spinners will come out where like they basically just optimize a list of passages. Cause like to your point, it only really cares about relevance for a specific passage at this mm -hmm. point. Eventually you got to imagine that they would integrate all of the actual ranking factors of authority that matter and not just only focus on, on relevance, but that might be cost prohibitive. <laughs> I don't know if it's cost prohibitive, but what it could, the way they could do it is use that to limit which pages are chosen from, but they may have tried that and seen that it didn't give better results. And so instead what they're saying is like, okay, where's the most relevant component of these pages? And also how do we make sure that we have, you know, high diversity of information to feed into these snippets and, um, they're also looking not just at like your core query, but also the query expansion. So, you know, if you put in a keyword like red shoes, they're going to also add sneakers, high heels, whatever, like makes the most sense. And then the, the series of documents that are pulled back from that 
then they're going to pull the most relevant components. So there are things that go on in the background of how search works that are more present for, um, for the AI overview than they really are for, you know, the core results because the core results have so many other signals. And again, that's not me saying that query expansion doesn't happen for core results, but you know, link signals and, and user uh, clicks and dwell time, things like that may overpower the um, more horizontal look at the query. So yeah, it's just a lot going on as you might expect. And we're just in a space that's like kind of unprecedented and it's going to take a while for everybody to catch up on what to do. Yep, there you go. So, I mean, like that's something that that we cover and Mike's written about it a ton. I've been writing about it a ton and we're going to be looking at the space. So uh, definitely check out I pull rank if, if you want to like talk AI overviews of what it actually means for your, your current content strategy.